Hi, I'm so glad you're back. Wow, this week has gone by so fast. Let's see, we've learned a lot. We've learned that God knows you. We've learned that God hears you. We've learned that God comforts you. And we've learned that God forgives you. Today, we're going to learn maybe the most important thing of all. And that is that God chooses you. Wow. Have you ever been picked for something special? Maybe you got chosen to be the line leader one day. Maybe you got to do a special job for your teacher. Or maybe your mom or dad picked you to do something special in your family, like pick the movie you see that night or pick the kind of pizza your family is going to order. How does it make you feel when you are chosen? It makes me feel really special. Wow. I can't think of anything better, though, to be chosen for than to be one of God's chosen. Yeah. If you never get picked for anything else, remember this. God has chosen you. Yes, I know there's lots and lots of people in the world. And God has chosen you to be one of the special ones to know him. You know, it's no accident or coincidence that you have been here at Vacation Bible School. God wanted you here. God wanted you to learn all the special things about him, and especially that he has chosen you to be one of his children. God has said, if you are in my hand, I will never let you go. Wow, what a wonderful promise that is. That just makes me feel more special than anything I've ever been picked for. So don't feel sad if you don't get picked to be the special helper at school one day. Just say to yourself, it's okay because God has chosen me to belong to him. All right, let's see our special video today about a girl named Vivian who wants to be chosen for something really special that she is working very hard for. Hi, I'm Genevieve and I'm 11 years old. I live with my mom, my dad, my sister, and my cousin in Orange County, California. Genevieve likes spending time with her family. She likes to play with her sister. Her family watches movies together, swims, and goes on walks. Genevieve also does ballet, but what she really loves is swimming. Genevieve and her sister started swimming lessons when she was around eight years old. One day, her instructors chose her to be part of a swimming club where she would race other swimmers. At first, Genevieve didn't feel very strong about her swimming, but one day, something amazing happened. I remember one time that I was doing swimming. It was a normal practice, and at this time, I was probably one of the slowest people in my group. And then I was just swimming, and then all of a sudden, I felt this holy power that I could go faster, and I passed every single person in my lane, and I ended up being the fastest person from that day on. Being chosen means Genevieve is part of a team. That team is a lot like a family. The coaches wanted Genevieve to be part of their team because they knew she could do great things. Being chosen for the swim team means Genevieve must train hard. She practices five days a week for two and a half hours each day. Genevieve relies on her coaches and trainers to help her become a better, faster swimmer. 
she also relies on God too. I normally rely on God to help me with my races. Like, I normally get kind of scared before a race, so I ask him to help me like become kind of more confident with myself and that he will love me no matter what I get. Genevieve hopes to be able to go to the Olympics and win a gold medal in swimming. She'll have to work hard every day for many more years to be chosen for that team. Genevieve knows that she's already been chosen as part of God's family, and she didn't have to work for that at all. God chose her just because he loves her. Did you know that you've been chosen to be part of God's family too? In the Bible, the book of Isaiah says, I have called you by name. You are mine. That's right. God chooses you and he calls you his very own. You don't have to work or earn God's love. He picks you as his friend just because. God made you for a purpose. You can ask God to show you what he has chosen you to do. God will help you do amazing things. God chooses you. You are treasured. Wow, Genevieve is working really hard, isn't she? I hope she gets chosen to be in the Olympics. Wouldn't that be fabulous? Maybe someday we'll see her when we watch the Olympics on television. And you can say you first saw her when she was training. To get chosen for some things, you have to work really, really hard, don't you? But the one thing you don't have to work hard for is to be chosen by God. Listen to what God says to us in the Bible. This is in the book of Isaiah, chapter 43. God says, I have called you by name. You are mine. Wow. Is that a great verse or what? God knows your name and he has called you by name. From the moment before you were even born, God said, I love you. I know you, and you belong to my family. To be in God's family is the best thing you can ever be chosen for. And you are chosen. So be glad, be happy that God is with you always, and he will never let go of you. Now let's review what we've learned this week. We talked about getting to know something really well, like Sam did with his Rubik's Cube. That was pretty interesting, wasn't it? And we learned that God knows you. Then we saw John learn to speak with his hands because he's deaf. And we learned that no matter how you communicate with God, God hears you, even if you talk to him in your mind. Then we saw how some kids helped others during this tough time, during the COVID pandemic, how they helped other people because they wanted to show comfort to others just like God shows comfort to us. We learned how important forgiveness is, didn't we? When Timothy broke Philip's toy and he was really angry about it, we learned that it's important to forgive others because God forgives us. And we all mess up a lot, don't we? We can be so thankful that God forgives us. And then most important of all, we learned that we are part of God's family because God has chosen us. 
because we know about God and we are learning about his love, that means God has chosen us to be part of his family forever and ever. Wow. Let's thank God for all the things he has showed us this week. Dear Lord, we thank you so much that we belong to you. We thank you for all the wonderful things you do for us, Lord. And we hope to always remember these lessons you have taught us this week. We love you, God. Thank you. Amen. How about Raymond? Raymond is our buddy this week. Raymond the alligator. Sometimes he feels left out because nobody really likes him. In fact, people run away from him all the time. But Raymond knows that God has chosen him. And so he can feel good about being part of God's family, just like you and I 